Hello Aquarius and Cross Watchers, this is Amna from Soulmate Tarot and today we are doing uh, your monthly love reading for the month of June 2019. Uh, please keep in mind that these are journal messages, they may or may not resonate with you. If they resonate with you, please like and subscribe to the channel. If they don't resonate with you, just let them fly and check out some other amazing tarot card readers on YouTube. Uh, also, because of my schedule, um, my own personal schedule, um, I'm taking a very limited number of personal readings. So if you want to book a personal reading with me, feel free to send me an email and um, I will get back to you on that. Um, uh, also, if you want to tip and donate to the channel, uh, my um, uh, PayPal account information is in the description box as well. Uh, I want to devote my full time and attention to this channel and that can only be possible with your generous tips and donations so feel free to donate generously. Um, about your pre-show flow and uh, the energy um, tapping when I was uh, doing your meditative session. Um, very weird, I was at a, um, I was at a housewarming party. Uh, they were uh, they were some friends this time around I didn't see any particular friends who I was friends with and why I was here in that particular housewarming party uh, but it was kind of a family kind, family gathering and I had no idea what I was doing in that particular gathering and who I was related to um, and I saw a couple of people over there um, bringing in um, you know their dates um, um, introducing them to their family and um, they were happily um, you know accepting each other um, uh, from um, that point of view but there was this one couple who was um, who who actually caught my attention and probably got somebody else's attention and well uh, could, could have got somebody else's attention as well is uh, and the couple who um, who looked way too happy but at the same time um, I I noticed just one thing that the more um, you know the guy was uh, holding on to the lady um, she was you know um, her elbow was like uh, you cannot see my expression um, her elbow was like um, kind of uh, a barrier between the two and that was uh, uh, in sign we say that there is some sort of trouble in the paradise um, so um, that kind of situation <coughs> really sorry my throat chakra is all over the place this week so uh, that's why your readings have been delayed as well but uh, by the end of that particular um, uh, you know um, gathering because I was noticing them throughout and um, uh, when there were very few guests they I saw them talking in the corner sitting each other uh, sitting with each other and uh, hugging out things so um, um, the whole um, meaning of the situation is uh, some of you might be going through a situation uh, where you will be introducing someone very special uh, to your family and they might be a little hesitant they might be a little hesitant they might not be comfortable with it uh, but at the end of the day it's all going to work out uh, for your good um, it's um, it's all going to be positive at the end uh, no matter how many things how many problems you guys face uh, you will be um, you know um, the reason you took them and introduced them to your family on a fa uh, through doing a family reunion um, that uh, that will work things out and you guys will uh, move past it uh, oh my god that's <laughs> and the overall energy uh, for you guys during the month of June is the page of wands so that's, that's a card of good news uh, good things are coming your way um, be uh, be a little careful um, uh, in oversharing these these good news kind of things with other people uh, just um, be a little careful um, you know I don't know why I'm hearing 
warning 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 uh, with this um, good news card so I'm gonna take it as a warning and I'm gonna uh, uh, just say this to you that um, good things are coming your way success in love and career is coming your way but uh, at the same time you want to keep things uh, at the uh, you know um, uh, keep things under the wrap uh, you don't want to overshare with people but uh, good things are coming your way it's okay to share a good news with people um, but uh, don't um, don't put out news when it's unripe when things are completely ripe and you are completely sure of things go ahead and sh overshare with whoever and whichever you want to but this is this is gonna be a good month for you let's see what's going on three uh, is for the month of June 2019 um, you're probably one of those zodiacs who are having a good month because um, this is a very heavy month June is a very heavy month for a lot of zodiac signs uh, I think there are only handful of them a couple of them only uh, who got a good reading but um, actually, they are going through shitty situations. Um, but at the same time, those shitty situations are for their own betterment. They are healing. Uh, at the end, they are um, they are getting out of shitty situations and all that. And uh, and that's really good. So, uh, however tough this uh, month is for all zodiac signs, uh, they are learning things and they are healing. Actually, that's that's the best part about it they're just healing and uh, they're getting rid of toxicity from their life and they are healing so whenever you are getting rid of toxicity there is always some sort of pain attached to it and um, but once healing is on its way everything is in perspective oh my god why are you quiet of course Aquarius for the month of June 2019 in love. Uh, do I need to change the deck or something you want me to do? Just say the word and I'll do it. But don't just go quiet on me. Finally, we have one. Yes, what did I tell you not to overshare things? Five of Wands. There are some frenemies around you. So, again, keeping in mind your overall energy just don't overshare take this ah definitely don't take overshare uh seven of swords <coughs> <coughs> death card and if you want to come back come back why there are so many clusters we need single cards okay Great. are so funny and I cannot even imagine to explain that. <laughs> Six of pentacles. Was 
the Dragon in reverse. Lovers in the center of your reading. And then the Queen of Wands in reverse. You have a soulmate connection here. Fortune Devil card. This is the devil card in this deck. <coughs> Three of Wands. I definitely do need to drink some water. <coughs> I'm sorry, you guys. I <coughs> have not been feeling well. Um, anyways, we start with the month um, with this caution card. Uh, since your overall energy is of a good news coming your way, whether it's your love life or your career or anything related to your life you have some frenemies in your uh, circle people who are um, pretending to be your friends but um, they're not really your friends um, they're they're wearing masks of um, being your friend and they are they don't have good intentions so um in terms of love in terms of career in terms of finance or in terms of any project which you're taking on you have to be a little careful who you share it with uh, i would say better keep it to yourself until uh, you're like 100 percent sure okay now um i can completely uh, share it with uh, people around me because uh, the next card here is the seven of souls seven of souls is also about being clever um being someone um, being and you know having the energy of being resourceful thinking out of the box to uh, deal with you know different kinds of schemes which people are um, uh, you know making against you so you have to be a little more resourceful you have to be a little more tactful and you have to deal with situations uh, in a better manner you have to think of different solutions to deal with different kinds of situations because a lot of different scenarios will uh, spring up and um, try to sabotage you but if you are already prepared for this then nothing can stop you in terms of your relationship i see uh, for most of the readers this is a card of charity but i see this being um, in your situation a balanced relationship a relationship which is equally giving and receiving where you are uh, able to communicate better where, where you are able to um, fully express your um, self um, to the other person especially because we have the lovers card here I think this is not about being a sympathetic relationship it's about being um, you know having um, a, a very balanced kind of relationship a relationship which is um, which is more communicative uh, open to communication, open to, to debate, open to whatever is, you know, if there is a situation, if there is a problem, then your partner is open for a debate. Um, they're not like, okay, um, there is a problem, I'm going to the other direction. No, this is uh, not something like that. But I see you a little hesitant. I see you a little. Um, there are some delays in um, this relationship. There are some uh, lack of forward movement in this relationship relationship you will eventually <coughs> I'm really really sorry about this um, you will eventually um, be at a point um, uh, because we have the lovers card in the center of the reading you will eventually 
um, go towards and also we have the wheel of fortune here so you will eventually be in a situation where you will be able to freely uh, move forward with this person but at the same time currently um there are some delays there are there is a lack of movement maybe because you are focused on certain other things maybe because uh, you have other things to um, take care of uh, you are dealing with the with these kinds of people and you are being tactful in dealing with them uh, so maybe that is why um, you don't have the willpower right now to fully commit right now if you don't your focus is somewhere else um chariot card is reverse in reverse is also like having a little bit of fear uh fear in terms of commitment that okay what if i commit uh, right now and what if um all these things come back and haunt me uh what is um uh, you know having this lack of focus that okay um i'm not um kind of um I'm not ready to uh, give in. Some people are sometimes not ready to commit yet. But, um, you know, um, despite the fact that you're not ready to commit, you're not ready, uh, you're lacking this ambition. Um, but at the same time, I will, I'm telling you that this is a soul level connection. This is a connection which you call a soulmate connection, a divine connection. You guys are meant to be together. Whether you, um, I, I don't know whether you want to walk away from this situation um, uh, down the lane. Not in this month, I see. Uh, but uh, in, if um, in future you want to walk away from this situation, I always say that soulmates are um, that kind of connection which are supposed to be together, which are divinely meant to be together. But that doesn't mean we don't have free will. That means we can walk away from them. Um, in, we can live separate lives. Being soulmate, we can also live separate lives. You could be married to someone else and someone else's soulmate as well. You could be happily married to, as a matter of fact to someone and um, be a soulmate of someone else. But because all of this is because of free will. So, um, but right now I would say that this person is definitely your soulmate connection, your divine love. Um, if you have this fear of commitment, um, uh, maybe um, shadowed by these things going on in your relationship, um, maybe in some cases, in a few of the cases, you're feeling like this is a sympathetic relationship and you have this fear of commitment um, then maybe give it some time and uh, let's see how this unfolds um, because the rest of your month um, looks um, great yeah, you could be dealing with the Gemini just wanted to put it out there but um, your lack of movement, your lack of commitment is making the other person feel that you're being stubborn. You are, um, you're not making promises. You are being manipulative. Um, you, um, you are trying to create a conflict in this. Remember uh, the vision? And there was a conflict going on, um, uh, which uh, you know resolved eventually. Um, a drift, uh, which will happen. So the, the um, it may be you, maybe the other person is feeling that way about you, or maybe it's you feeling about this the other person uh, that you know you are. There is um, conflict going on. There is some sort of stubbornness. There is some sort of um, uh, anger. There is. <coughs> Because Queen of Wands is a very, very wonderful queen. She's, um, she's nurturing. She is um, very funny, witty. But in reverse, uh, she's your worst nightmare. Uh, so <laughs> just uh, deal with the situation at hand. Uh, take baby steps. Um, it's very natural if you're having cold feet. Um, but um, but also um, be very careful about the emotion of the other person because they are feeling that or you are feeling that the other person is uh, either stubborn and uh, not willing to make a compromise here. Um, the universe um, is on your side because whatever karmic situation, whatever karmic you had debt you had to pay has been paid and now uh, the cycle is coming to its completion. New beginning 
beings are on their horizon the universe is on your side here um, at the same time I feel you being obsessive probably be with this person why because you've been uh, and I'm gonna say this you've been addicted to them uh, a little bit um, I know you have been through uh, some sort of um, drama in the beginning with other people and that's that shadowed uh, your relationship but now you're feeling obsessive about them now you're feeling um, possessive about them and now you're feeling bonded to them um, at the same time this is also part of uh, some sort of addiction so be careful um, if with overindulgence um, in at the end of the month I see you being hopeful I see that you are hopeful things will work out again like the way and that uh, you know things will definitely work out in, in your favor you're being positive you're being hopeful you're being um <clears throat> you're being in that particular um moment where you're like okay no matter what happens the situation will improve and i'm waiting for uh, i'm waiting for my ships to come to me because i know that there is uh there is a positive outcome for me here what is this vibe let's have some clarifiers and see what's going on what is this five of wands doing here five of wands is clarified by the king of pentacles in reverse yes somebody is definitely jealous somebody is definitely definitely greedy among your friends among your friends somebody is definitely greedy somebody is definitely jealous of your success uh, it could be your relationship it could be uh, oh and they have been hurt and they don't have the strength oh god so this is uh, wh whoever is like um the frenemy of yours um they are they are greedy um that they you they don't have what you have and they are being hurt by it um day and night and, and they are a coward that's why they are wearing the mask of a friend and trying to hurt you that's bad that's the worst kind of thing sorry I have to just the camera this is for you to see what is the seven of souls doing here whoever this frenemy is they're very covered they're very covered that's why they're hiding behind the mask of being your friend it's not like they're um, they're just being your friend to <clears throat> strike you when you are at your vulnerable state uh, no it's because they are they are very weak they are weaker than you that's why they're hiding behind the mask of a uh, friend what is the seven of swords doing here Uh, now we have three of wands here twice uh, seven of swords being tactful being um, and being the kind of person who is very shrewd um, who knows how to deal with the situation and that's because you are hopeful uh, you're hopeful that you'll be able to cope up with this situation you know that you'll be able to think out of the box and you'll be able to resolve this situation good good what is the six of pentacles doing here what is this six of pentacles doing? six of pentacles is clarified with the ace of cups and the queen of wands now we have queen of wands here twice as well and uh, definitely definitely somebody like i said queen of wands is very um uh, very nurturing very um sorry you cannot see this uh, Again, I just hate the focus of my camera. 
um, is uh, somebody who is very nurturing, somebody who is very funny, somebody who likes to um, crack jokes, somebody who is um, who is always uh, you know taking care of other people. Um, so yes, this is definitely um, um, this could definitely be them feeling that you know um, they are giving too much into this relationship. They love you too much and you not so much but um, I see that um, and this is happening because you are uh, you're being occupied by um, by this friend of me right here uh, you are occupied by uh, you are occupied in dealing with this particular shitty situation. That's why they are feeling that way. But that is temporary. That will uh, fade off, uh, and they will uh, realize that this is not a sympathetic relationship. This is not something where they are uh, giving more of um, uh, more to this relationship. Where um, they are the loving one. They are the one who are nurturing this relationship and they are full of love but you are too you are equally involved in this relationship um you are um how do you say it? you're equally sassy you're equally loving you're equally you have the equal um you know um uh, now i'm uh, i'm having this feel the, the a person you're dealing with they have a very good sense of humor very good um sense of um with some very good someone who's very intense someone who's very passionate somebody um who is um who's very fiery when it comes to relationships um very energetic kind of person and they are full of love for you and temporarily they do feel that uh, you know, uh, they might feel that in, in they are the ones who are giving most to this relationship and you are not uh, putting in as much effort as they are, uh, but, um, but they will realize that you are dealing with some sort of situation of your own, that's why you're not doing it. And what is this chariot? <coughs> Sorry about my throat. What is this chariot universe doing here? Many gods. What is this chariot universe doing here? Uh, chariot universe is clarified by Ten of Wands. Yes, definitely you are burdened. You are burdened by this this particular situation here uh, with your frenemy. Um, that's why you have this fear of commitment. That uh, you know, if I go forward with this particular situation, uh, what if they come after me? What if um, they sabotage my relationship as well? Um, you are being burdened. But you know, what the beautiful thing about Ten of Wands is that uh, after 10 there is no 11 of one so you will this is the last of your agony um, after this you'll fly high and since you have the lovers in here you'll definitely be able to commit to them freely um, like I said before um, and this is them taking on the energy of uh, Queen of Wands in reverse, but uh, this is just temporary. And uh, that will fade away. What is this lovers doing here? What is this lovers doing here? What is this lovers doing here? The lovers card is clarified by the star card and the temperance definitely a soulmate connection definitely a soulmate connection somebody somebody who is your wish come true and somebody who brings in balance into your life uh, both emotional and um, physical balance um, they are definitely your soulmate they definitely definitely your soulmate what is this queen of wands in reverse doing here This Queen of Wands in reverse doing here. This is a very, very beautiful connection, despite <coughs> the fact that you have to um, deal with the um, shitty situation. 
um, in, this is uh, this is definitely uh, a wonderful connection you have around here. Um, <laughs> we have seven of swords in upright here and then we have seven of swords in uh, reverse here clarifying the uh, queen of wands so this is definitely the other person feeling um you know angry and suspicious but uh, they will realize like i said before they will realize that this is temporary um because uh, whatever friend of me you were dealing with they will come forward uh, they will mm, they will not come forward they will come to light and once they come to light uh, this queen um, will this queen or in turn uh, in uh, for those of you who are male um uh, this king will um definitely definitely realize that you know why you were feeling that way why you were acting that way this is just a temporary situation um they will be okay the way that's exactly playing out like the way and what is this wheel of fortune doing here what is this wheel of fortune doing oh my god the wheel of fortune is the chariot card so you'll finally 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 move forward you'll finally move forward uh no after in one month you have the chariot in verse and then the chariot in uh, the upright um once these thieves these the sneaky thief is out of his uh you know uh, is out in the open um and your cycle is closed you will be able to move forward with this person you will definitely move forward with this person but don't feel possessive don't feel possessive don't feel obsessive about them <clears throat> i haven't asked my question yet <laughs> but you know um All right, let's put this back on. If it's a, if it's meant to be, it can come back again. Um, what is this uh, devil card right here? That was a very good explanation of the devil card, but um, I hadn't asked my question, so let's see if it comes back again. you are feeling possessive you're feeling obsessed because you're being a debbie downer huh <sighs> you, you uh, I, I don't see this you feeling um feeling like a debbie um and thinking about your past relationships i think uh, you're thinking about what happened here um you're like um, in this particular situation where the other person felt frustrated you were like what if that happens again what if um, mm, the situation goes bad and the other person starts feeling bad that way again so um, you're thinking about your past uh, whatever happened um, and um, but the thing is uh, now you have moved forward now you have uh, moved forward with that person you you don't have to obsess over the past um the bad things are over now you don't have to be a debbie downer anymore what is this three of wands doing here what is this three of wands doing here the magician card so you're hopeful because you know you'll be able to manifest whatever you have um you'll use all your skills sets or you'll use all your elements you'll use all your magic to manifest whatever you want in your life you're being hopeful because you know you have the power to manifest whatever you want in life beautiful beautiful <clears throat> let's 
take an oracle card for you and so it's how I'm feeling and with whether I want to give my throat some rest. <clears throat> Trustworthy guidance. You have received a wonderful idea as an answer to your prayers. The idea is real and trustworthy. You can safely move forward with it, knowing that we are with you every step of the way. Ask for and be open to receiving our support for anything that you need related to this idea. And the idea is this person you're dealing with. They are very loving, they are very caring, and they have been waiting for you for a very long time. They have been through hell and back with you, and I think um, if they are still with you, then um, and they are still giving you a chance, which I can see that they are, they are the one um, who, who are the blessed ones for you. They are bringing balance into your life. Uh, just seek guidance from your, you know, higher being, whoever you uh, believe in, and uh, it will be given to you. Um, move forward with this person because they are your soulmate, they are the love of your life, and this is a divine connection you are dealing with. Alright guys, I'll see you for the mid-monthlies. Hope you have a nice month of June. Bye.